You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Kansas native and rock musician Melissa Etheridge recently released a documentary filmed at Topeka Correctional Facility and new music to go along with it. I recently caught up with her and she told me she had a lifetime of inspiration for the project. The uh, federal penitentiary was just a few blocks from my house. And um, in 1968, when I was seven years old, Johnny Cash came and performed there. And I thought that uh, prisons were a place of great music at the time or something. And, and then when I was a few years uh, older in my teens, I actually went into all the prisons and performed different uh, types of uh, entertainment. And they, it was always so appreciated and, and they were such a, a great audience and um you know inspiring I'm, a woman. I'm, a woman. I'm not broken when you watch even the previews that have been released when you sing that song i'm not broken and to the women join in singing that song what was that experience like for you amazing i i had i didn't know what the concert was going to be like i i had I worked with the, the warden and the prison. We had talked about it for a couple of years. I kept saying, okay, are you going to allow them to get up and express themselves? Are, are, are they going to be made to sit down? No, 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 we're going to let them do what they want to do. I was like, okay, because I can get an audience very excited. That's my job. And and she was like, you go ahead, you do whatever you do. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and I said, can I I, I'm using some colorful language in this song. Can I, is that okay? I don't want, you know, no, you do what you want to do. And they gave me this wonderful freedom to do what really came from my heart, unrestricted. And singing that song and just seeing people, the women just going, I'm not broken and I am worth it. And it just, it, I, I still love doing it for free people, you know, out here in concerts. and. Um, it, it, it did better than I could have ever wished for at there at TCF in the prison. You had mentioned your son's passing. Um, mm -hmm. Do you see him and some of those women? And, and how mm -hmm. much does that message need to be said for a lot of people? Because you can give somebody all the support in the world, but you can't necessarily change internally what's going on. And, and how much are you now motivated exactly to let people know that there are second chances, there are things that can get better? It, it was very clear to me that many, if not most, of the women in the prison were all dealing with early trauma in their life that led to some really bad choices, drug addiction, and prison. It just, it's just this constant, it's, it's, it's all the same, different ways, but trauma, drug addiction. And um, knowing how once you get in that cycle of drug addiction, it is very hard to, it, people can't save you. I know as a family member, you can't, you, you want to, you want to do whatever you can, but you can't. It's a personal choice. And that person needs to see what it looks like uh, to, to find joy in life every day. And if I can show that, if I can show that this is possible, you can feel this. No matter what life brings you, you are in charge of your own joy. <laughs> this new music was written, obviously, with the prison in mind and with these ladies in mind. How does the message, though, transcend that specific story? What do you hope? And, and I know that the experience of music is what we individually can interpret things as. But mm -hmm. what do you hope people get out of hearing this new, these newest songs that you have? Well, I've really been enjoying performing the song uh, Burning Woman, which is the, the song I wrote for the, the women in the penitentiary and um i love playing it live I, I tell people about the the concert and the the album and the the documentary and then i sing the song and by the end of it everybody knows it and they're they're call and response and it's it's really translates not only from the prison to the uh, all audiences and i very much have been enjoying it Kansas being in the middle, I think a lot of uh, younger Kansans might think, yeah, middle of nowhere. What does your story teach other youngsters who maybe have that dream of being on a world and global stage one day? It's 
a hundred percent possible. It does not matter where you come from. And Kansas is a great place to be from. It really is. And I have met some amazing people out in the world from Kansas. And I've met some great people in Kansas. It doesn't mean you have to get out of Kansas. Kansas has many opportunities. And um, you just be inspired wherever you are. Melissa Etheridge is back home this week in concert with Jewel Wednesday at Starlight Theater in Kansas City. Limited tickets are still available at kcstarlight.com. The documentary, by the way, is available on Paramount+. Plus.